are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on patreon Jamie Pamela Janet Chris Amber Melanie Robin Jennifer Shirley Bonnie Sue Kim Kathy Bonnie Kelly Christine Liz Wendy Mary Stampin George Catherine Gail Amy Mary Kara Andrea Monica Anita Anisa Priscilla Heather Connie Linda Jessica Margaret Kathy Bridgetta Gail Kathy Ruth Marlene Mary Jody Millie, Nan, Nicole, Kimberly, and Amanda. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. It's Melody Lane. And today we're going to talk about the new Design Space app. I have to do, I have to turn off that volume. Okay, so I can turn on my computer volume again. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, today we're going to install the new Design Space app. Everybody is going to need to install this, even if you don't want to use offline. You don't have to ever use offline, ever. You can always use it online if you want to. So I would love for you to put your questions in all caps. I am going to try to, I have two chats open for you guys, try to pause one so I can go over every question. I have some other questions that when I posted about this, you guys had some great questions that were not in the FAQs. So I wanted to help you and go over that. I want to show you how to install it and uninstall it if needed. And um, I guess that's it. I guess we're gonna get started. Thank you guys for coming. There's 326 of you already. So we are live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. I will be doing a giveaway. That's what I forgot to tell Jamie. Jamie, I'm gonna tell you the name before we do the giveaway. Um, the good, the, in order to enter the giveaway, it's best you're on the, if you're on the YouTube, but I do see the Facebook and Twitch chat over in the YouTube chat. Um, but I will ask, I'm not doing it right now. No reason to enter now. I'm going to ask a word from one of my previous videos this week. Um, and you're going to win this week will just be a $15 gift card sponsored by me. Um, and it will be a gift card or PayPal or Amazon, whatever you want. I'm gonna give you 15 bucks. Okay. <sighs> will it work on Chromebook? Great question, no, it won't. I'm really sorry. I have heard that some people with a Chromebook uh, have used the Android app. Chromebook is not a full computer. Also, I wanna let you know, computer, and laptop are the same thing. I understand that a desktop computer and a laptop computer are different sizes, but they're actually the same thing. So this app is for desktop, it's for laptop, it's not for iPad or Android or your phone. Uh, some people said, when will the app come to the iPad? Well, the iPad has had an app that you can use offline for three years. I am so sorry that some of you didn't know that. I did a video three years ago, and when I realized some people didn't know that it was offline, uh, I did reshare my video yesterday in my Facebook group. Um, yeah, most people have already downloaded this app if you've seen my post about it. Um, Reza, don't worry. I, I'm going to tell you how to enter again when it's time to enter. It's not time yet. Um, no, it doesn't work on the iPad at all. It's not made for the iPad. The iPad already has a great app. So first let's install it. Take you over to design space. Okay. And here's the link. Okay. I have you on my video. 
And the reason is, is because I put a link, to, I'm going to go up so we don't have to look at my face. <laughs> uh, I put the link right here. If you can't see this, you might need to click show more. If you are on an iPad or iPhone or Android or tablet, you might have a tiny, tiny little arrow triangle right about here. And you would have to click that to see the full description. But if you are on an iPad or a mobile device and not on a computer, which is a laptop or desktop, do not try to download this. It's not going to work. Um, so don't even do it right now. Wait until you're on your computer to download it. Uh, so I'm going to click on that. So we're going to download it right now. I have deleted it from my computer. It will say this. This one is version 4.6.5. If you're watching this three months from now, I'm sure it'll be a different version. So I'm going to click download. And this comes up. Now I am on a Mac. And I will try to help you or maybe some people in the uh, chat can help you for a PC. It's not much different for a Mac and a PC. This will say Cricut Design Space install. It's saying where do you want it to install. I have it on desktop. So most of the time, if you've never worked with these before, it will automatically download to your download folder. But mine is set to desktop. And then I'm just going to click save. And right down here, you can see that it's installing. That was really fast. Um, all I have to do is click it just once. It's opening here and installing. Okay, now I have two um, displays. So I put this on the other display. So on a Mac you have to do this. If you're on a PC, I think it automatically does it for you. So on a Mac, I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to drag this over. This is how you install everything on a Mac. I'm just going to let it go. It opened up my applications folder and moved Cricut Design Space into my applications folder. And that just stays there. I don't know. You can get rid of that. You can get rid of this, but let me show you why well, I want to click on it. Oh, you can't see. Hold on. Let me. Let me move my chat out of the way for a minute so you can see my bottom bar down here. You do not see that C, but I'm going to click on it in my applications folder. Double click. Now you see that C down here jumping up and down. It says Cricut Design Space is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? That's just a security thing in case you're downloading something that's not secure. We all trust Cricut and it is secure, so I'm going to click open. Now it's starting Cricut Design Space and it opened it over here on the screen. So I'm just going to drag it over here. So there we are. That's it. Um, now down here, I want this little C logo to always be here because then when I want to open it, all I have to do is click it. Like I, okay, I don't even know what all these are. I don't, I need to clean that up and get rid of some of those, but I'm going to right click on my C, and you guys can't see it. Hold on, we're gonna move the chat up more. I'll move it back. We're gonna right click on the C and click options and click keep in dock. Now on, thank you, Ronald. On a PC, not a Mac, you can pin this down here, uh, I think on a Windows 10. You can pin it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, let me put the chat back. Because I think we're done.
Thanks, Ronald. You're amazing. Um, so now we have it. Now we can close this. Now, um, let me close this out. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. Okay, we don't need this anymore. This is just my video. I'm going to go down to the sea. You guys can't see my sea because it's, oh, maybe I can move my sea over here. Yeah, see, I moved it. I just dragged it. So now I'm going to double click on that and it opened up design space. Okay, we can get rid of this. I'm just going to scoot it over. Okay, so now I opened up design space. It's kind of small on my computer. You can drag it to be bigger. You can drag it to be as big as you want it to be, as long as it fits on your screen. Now, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look at the chat now, and uh, put your questions in caps, and then I also have questions I want to answer for you. <clears throat> okay. Um, Mary is asking, how do you know if you are off on the offline one? Are they separate programs? That's a great question. No, they're not separate. You will be using this online app for the future. They will be updating this app. This app has no plugins. It doesn't crash. Well, I don't think it does, but plugins don't crash. That's the problem with it being in the browser. Notice it's not in the browser. Let me show you over here. Um, oh, I think it's design. <sighs> yeah, right there. So now, if you, some people have thought that they installed the Design Space app, but they didn't. They thought they did, and they already had a Cricut logo on their desktop, and they hit that, and they thought it was installed. If you can see this right here, if you can see that, and this is, this is my Chrome browser. If you can see anything like that, you're not in the new app. This, there's no bar up here with no address or anything like that. So that's the difference right now. And you really want to just only using the app or the browser when you're sharing a project or if you click on a link that somebody else shared, like I shared to my supporters, if you click on that link, it's going to open up in the browser and then you can save your project to here. And if you want, then you can go back here and it will be saved into your projects. Always use the same sign in that you have used in the past. Always, always. Um, and the offline app, when when it becomes offline, when that feature is available, it'll pop up and tell you. But if you're online using it and your internet suddenly goes out, you can continue to keep cutting. You can continue to keep designing. And it will just be offline. It will have a little orange word up here at the top that says offline. Um... Okay, hold on. I'm going to your chat. Does it save all your designs? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. You can still save all of your projects. Uh, right now it's not offline. When it is offline, you will have the option to save to the iCloud or or save to the cloud or save to the cloud and computer. So anytime you save it to the computer, it's also in the cloud. Um, how do you open your files from the desktop? If you're talking about the files I share, uh, you just click on them and it will open 
them in the browser and then you can click on them and click customize and then save it to your um, save it to your account by clicking save Uh, no reason to delete the online design space. Um, somebody is saying, yes, it will work on the Surface Pro. Um, yeah, I think maybe the Surface Pro, but not just the Surface. I'm not sure about that. Um... Yeah, and up here it will say what version it is. How do we get the link to share projects with the friends? Great question. Right now, until they add it to the app to be able to do that, you have to go to the browser and do it from here. That's the only way to do it right now. So you'll have to open it back up on your browser. You can still use the browser, but the other one is better. Thank you, Deb Gibson. Uh, yeah, you can delete the old DS from your PC. Just delete the plugins. Uh, Diane says she can't use the character map to work with the beta version. I don't know anything about that. I don't use that. Oh, Diane, great question. I think I have that in my notes to answer that question too. She says, can you have multiple instances of the new app? Like if you have multiples in the browser and using different, like you can use four machines at once. Let me show you how. So, um... We have this here. It says Cricut Design Space up here. You click on File and then New Window. Oh, and it opened one on my other display. So it just opened another one up. New Window. Oh, it just opened one up over here. I'm moving it over here so you guys can see that. So you can have as many as you want. You can have them all with different projects in them. And you can cut one per machine. So if you have three machines, you can have three of these open cutting. Um, well, you can probably maybe cut the same project too. I don't know. I guess you can. So you can just by clicking file and new window. And I'm going to close these for now. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to quit. Yes. Um, Sandy says it's huge on her computer. Can you make it smaller? I think it's small on my computer. Um, you can drag the corner and make this as small as you want. Like that. Thank you, Christy. Um, and I think it has to do with the resolution on your computer. Um, hold on, let me go back up to my questions. Uh, Teresa says, I assume you can start folders in external hard drive. No, not that, I, not unless you install this on an external hard drive. I'm not that techie to even know how to do that. Um, all your projects will be saved in the Design Space app, not in different folders on your computer. Um... 
Michelle says, is it just beta test mode? Should we wait to download until final version is released? No, it is open beta. I'm not even sure why they're calling it beta. I think just in case there's uh, problems. This has been in testing since last year and it was, I thought it was really good to go last December, but um, maybe it wasn't because it wasn't released until now. And they want to make sure it's up to par before they release it wide like they did. It is not just in beta testing mode. Although it says beta, it's, it's just because it's brand new. Do I still need internet to open or design? You do for now. The offline has not been released yet. Um, if you, the offline, they are going to be releasing out in a few weeks. They're going to be rolling it out. So in order to be chosen to be one of the first people to get it, you have to download this app by September 10th. Now this app will always be available after that. They're not gonna not let you download it. It's always available. Thank you, Jeanette. Um, but they have by the 10th because that's when they're gonna, they're just gonna randomly choose uh, thousands of people to get it. And then maybe a few weeks later, you know, a couple thousand more will get it. Um, so that's why we say download it now and start using it if you want to be the first to get it offline. And after, even when it's offline, you are going to need <clears throat> to be online to save your projects to work offline. You will be able to design and cut offline, but you have to save images to your projects and then save those projects to design space. And as it gets closer to that, I will be doing many more classes on this and showing you a video on how to do all that. So don't worry about that now. I do want to let you know if you have access, those access images will, um, if you do not log in in 30 days, they will not allow you to cut them. So you have to log in every 30 days. If you don't have internet at home, I suggest get a laptop and take it to Starbucks or McDonald's or a library, somewhere where you can log in. Just log in once every 30 days and you're good. Um, is there a search feature in the app? There's always been a search feature for images and for projects. Uh, for Cricut projects, not for our own projects. They're working on things for our own projects. They're always working on more and more features. Um, to have your projects in the offline part, you will have to save them each to work offline. So if you know you're going to be offline for a while, you'll have to go in and save your projects that you want to work with offline. Uh, Mary, will it matter which browser you use? For the online app, there's no browser. Um, if you're downloading, I like to use Chrome when I'm using the browser version. Uh, but the desktop app, there is no browser. That's the point of it. Yeah, you can delete the old one if you want to. If you ever need to use it again to use a file or share a file, you will have to download the plugin again. Thank you, Susan, for letting me know. Charity, that's awesome. Yes, you need internet to open initially and to save your projects. Once the offline comes, right now you will need internet to use it at all.
Sherry says, I thought you could use it when the internet was down anyway. Guess I didn't try cutting. Once the offline feature comes, you can use it when the internet is down. If you're on a project and the internet goes down in the middle of your project, you're good to go. You won't lose it. You can save it offline and online. Well, it says to save to the computer and to the cloud and the computer. It won't actually be in the cloud until you get back on the internet. Um, but if you're in the middle of a cut and your internet goes out, it will still keep cutting. Isn't that amazing? Okay, Joe, Joy says it appears that both my desktop icon and taskbar open the offline version. If you want the browser version, just go to your browser and type in design.cricut and it should come up with a uh, design space. Uh, Tess is asking, you need to save projects online only? No, once the offline feature is available, you can save them offline and online. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, if something is saved to the cloud, does that mean we can't cut it when offline goes live? No. When offline goes live, you can still use the online feature. And when you're online, you want to save it to your computer and then you can use it offline. What is the default save? Is it public or private? I assume it's public. I, I never noticed. Uh, Kathy Reiser on Facebook has a great question. Will we need to buy more cloud space? No. It's in Design Space Cloud. It's the Cricut Cloud. We don't pay for that. Let's thank Cricut for all of the space that they have for Design Space and all of our images and all of our projects. And it's amazing that using it online, we don't have to use that space. We don't have to use our computer space. If our computer crashes, we still have all our projects, all our images, in design space. People don't realize that and they're letting us use it for free. They're not charging us for any software. We can uh, subscribe to Access for the images, but we don't have to. We can use it for free. Is the web version eventually going away? It is eventually going away. Uh, but not until they get the desktop app uh, able to share your files to your friends and things like that and make sure everything is working properly and all of that, then it will be going away. But it'll still be online. So this desktop app is online. Yes, Shirley, you should use the offline version now, although it's not offline. It's just the desktop app. Thank you, Deb Gibson. It's not using your Apple Cloud. To, it's in the Cricut Cloud, I'm assuming. I never heard of Cricut Cloud, but it's in Cricut Space. Like everything is now. Everything's in Cricut Space now. All the images, all our projects, everything we upload, it's all there in Cricut Space. Um, I'm not sure about the fonts yet on the offline. I think you have to save them somehow. We'll know more once that's released. Uh, Georgiana, I'll, we'll have to, you'll have to give me that. I don't know why the link 
didn't work to open it. This is the real thing. This is not beta testing anymore. It's been beta testing the last year. Yeah, it's, for most people, it's a lot faster. You do not download this at the App Store. Um, there is a link in the description of this video. You can click there to get it. Can you download a phone or tablet? No. Those already have their own apps. Um, how will we access our images offline? You'll have to save them to a project. There will be more coming as that gets closer. It's not offline yet. How will I open old projects from a saved web link? You click on the web link and it'll open it in the browser and you can save it to your uh, account. Okay. Yes, you can replace the old one. That's just replacing the icon on your desktop. Yes, the new the new one automatically goes to the internet. Okay. I'm going to try to scroll through these and make see if there's questions I haven't answered or that have not been answered in the chat. It looks like, uh, Glenda says, Melody, I saw a question yesterday asking how do you go backwards? Like the, you can click backwards in the arrow in the browser. Uh, in Design Space, I never clicked the back arrow. There was never a need for it. Maybe people did, but you don't have to. Let me um, show that. Okay, so here's Design Space. Uh, let's just click a project here. Oh, it's cloth. We can't customize it. Forget that one. Let's do this one. Okay, I'm going to hit customize. And I think it saved my settings from my browser. Like my settings in Design Space are automatically no grid I have as my settings. And it remembers that. Oh, look, those are two different pieces. Okay, so let's say I want to look for another image. Uh, let's say we want to add this cat. Okay, let's say I decide I don't want to add the cat. So I don't want to click insert or cancel. Is this maybe where people use the back button? There's no reason. You can just click on images and it takes you right back. Or you can hit cancel down here. I'm not sure where people are using the back button. Uh, on make it. Uh, you could possibly hit the back button here, but you can just hit the cancel button. I'm going to scoot this over so you, it's not confusing. So there's no reason to hit the back button. Uh, Jerry Lynn says, I'm confused. It sounds like this is only for computers. And what I use on my iPad is going away. No, thank you so much for saying that, Jerry Lynn, because I don't want people to think that. That's not true at all. This is for computers. That's true. This is only for computers. What you use on the iPad is not going away. The iPad is completely different. This has nothing to do with the iPad app. The iPad app is already offline. You can use that offline if you like. I have a video on how to use the iOS app offline. 
Yeah, it's saved in the Cricut server. Thank you, Lynn. That's the correct tech, uh, terminology. Uh, Peggy, we cannot save to the desktop yet. Be, or we can... We can't save offline yet. We can't save it to the computer yet until offline is available. Okay. Yes, Ann Proctor, that's a great question. When I'm cutting one project, can I open a new window and work on another project? Yes. If you missed that part, click File. New window, and it pops up on my other screen. And it pops up. So you can work on something else. Uh, Jennifer says, okay, all of our thousand projects we have in DS, do we have to go back and save to computer and offline? Heck no. I totally would not be doing that. I have a lot of projects. I am not saving them to my computer. That would, that would be crazy, I think. But I always have internet. But if you don't have internet, you have to sign in like every 30 days or you want, well, if you, I guess if you just have access, you have to save the projects you want to work with offline. If you're going camping or something and you're not going to have internet or going to a crop with no internet, just go in and pick the projects ahead of time, save them to your computer, and then you can use all of those. You don't need, you're not going to work on thousands of projects. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, uh, Ronald. A big shout out to Cricket because they are awesome. Yeah, it is simple for most people. If you're having a problem, ask him at Cricut Design Space Facebook group or uh, contact Cricut support or ask in the description of this video and we will try that. Okay, now I have some other questions that I want to answer. First, Jamie has been doing an awesome job. Okay, giving me some questions to answer so I don't have to search. Uh, Cindy says, Jamie, every single time I open DS, I am asked to download the beta again. Okay, let me show you. That's because you're in, look how small my browser is. That's because you're in the browser. That's because you are in this design space. Notice the difference. This design space, thank you, Sandy. Um, this design space has a browser. It's in Chrome. It has a URL link. And you're opening the web design space. And right here, it's going to ask you to download. You can... Um, Click here and go, I think it takes you to the Cricut blog. Um, or it may be asking you to download. That's because you're not in the, uh, the app. This one is the app. Notice it's just a clean line up here. There's no URL. It doesn't say Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser you're using. It says Cricut Design Space up at the top. Um, how do you change the canvas color in the app? I cannot get that to work. Okay, I've not tried it yet. Let's try it. So I'm going to click down here on the canvas color. And right here it says color. And we're going to change the color. It's the exact same way. I'm not sure why you can't get it to work. 
Um, okay, somebody said using the back button when looking through images, like you click on a cartridge and decide you want to go back to the main list of images. Okay, let's go there. Let me show you how to do that without the back button. So you're looking through cartridges, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And if you decide you want to go back to look at the images instead of the cartridges, I can even click one of these. All you have to do is right here, click on images. See my mouse? It's right here. Or you can click on cartridges. You don't need to use the back button. You can click on any of these. There's no need for the back button. You're probably just in the habit of it. There is no limit on memory for projects saved in the app. Uh, here's a question. Since I download the desktop version, I cannot get it to read one of my cartridges. It keeps saying reinsert. When I type in the name, it says I have to purchase. Uh, you have to link your cartridge. So you need to go up to the top and click on link cartridges. And it's going to say none found because I don't have any cartridges in my machine. So that's what you do there. If you have a problem with it linking, then you need to call support. They will help you. How do I get the arrow keys to work? I don't know. I'm using the arrow key. It works. So if it's yours isn't working, I'm so sorry. I don't know why. Okay. Let me go to the list of questions I had um, in my notes that I took from the group. I also answered them in the group, but I know anytime somebody has a question, other people have that same question. So let me do that. Okay. Uh, and am I correct in thinking that you can use this new app now, but soon will we, you will be locked out? No, you use it now, you will never be locked out, ever. I'm not sure why anybody would think you would be locked out. This new app is forever. Well, you know, maybe in 20 years they'll have something different. I have no clue. Um, how will you know if you are picked to be the first to use it? Okay, you can use it now, but the first to be picked to use offline, you will have a message pop up in Design Space and it will update and it will uh, take you through a little, you know, tour. Like, click here. Look, you can save offline. That type of stuff. It, you'll know. Do you need this for iPhone, Samsung? No. This is completely different. This is only for a computer. Will we need the monthly paid subscription to use this? No, this is completely free. Uh, I just tried to download. Appreciate my operating system is not supporting. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, maybe you have to go to the system requirements and see that your computer has enough memory and things like that to use it. And don't be afraid when some people have problems so other people are afraid to download it. It's the mass majority of the people have no problems and it's working much better. So if you do have problems, that just means we need to troubleshoot and find out how to fix it and you need to get that fixed as soon as possible. But you still can use the web browser. Um, 
Okay, now here's one. It says, so my understanding is that they are offering the desktop beta to everyone until the 10th. Then the offer will go away until they are ready to roll out the offline part. No, that's not true. Uh, September 10th is the deadline for you to download it to just be chosen to get it first. It doesn't mean you will get it in the first rollout. It means you possibly could get randomly chosen. Thank you, Cindy. Um, so it will still continue to go on after September 10th. How do you copy text from outside like Word into Design Space? Um, I'm going to sneeze. Let me show you. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So here's a little note I share. I found out late last night and shared it. Okay, hold on. Let me, hmm. Okay. Hold on, guys. Okay, here's my little note thing. I can copy this. I use control C to copy or command C to copy. It could be control C. I'll let you know in a minute. And so I just copied this text right here. Can you guys read it? It says close to my heart cartridges are now in Cricut Access. Okay, now I'm going to hit text. we got a text box here. I'm going to click on that and I'm on a uh, Mac. So I'm going to hit control V which is what pastes it. And I copied it and pasted it from an outside program. Let me make this smaller. It's kind of big. Um, hold on. Let me go back. Okay, um, you can hit Command V or Control V to paste. So you can right click to copy from like your note or from your Word program. And then in DS, use Command V or Control V depending on what type of computer you're on. Um, okay, let me get more questions. Um, yeah, and if it says your operating system, Jamie is saying that's because your operating system is too old. That's what I was thinking. Uh, Janet on Facebook says, why do we have to do the update? It is good. Um, you don't have to do it right now, but the web version will be going away. Uh, the Cricut can cut shrinky dink plastic. Uh, Cindy's asking, why is the save to computer not an option for me after I downloaded the app? What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Thanks for subscribing. It's not available yet. That's what I was talking about. Offline will be rolling out. This new app is not only for offline. It's for online. Offline will be a feature released later in only a few weeks. You don't have to wait till the end of the year. Well, some people might. I don't know. Okay, let me check. 
Okay, did you guys hear what I said about Close to My Heart? I'm really, really excited about the Close to My Heart cartridges. There's thousands of Close to My Heart images. Yeah, uh, the paste, if you right click and paste, it does not work in the new Design Space app. You have to click Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC. Thank you, Connie. Oh, did, did you guys want to do the giveaway? Should we do that? Hold on, guys. Okay, so in order, and I'll tell you when to go to start. Oh, I got to tell Jamie what the word is so she can help me look. And I'm going to pause the chat. This is for a $15 gift card or PayPal. Um, if you have watched my videos before, my giveaway videos, uh, I ask a word that has something to do with one of the videos I've done in the past week. It is not a cricket word. It is not like iron on or it's not cricket maker or it's not cutie or something like that. It's just a different word that has something to do with my projects or what my videos were about something. So now the first person that guesses that word will win $15. Um, so not yet though. Um, hmm, I guess. You just have to keep guessing. You can guess as many times as you want. When I see somebody answered correctly, uh, I will say, okay, stop guessing. And about 30 seconds later, you'll stop guessing. Um, so we can get back to the chat and we can get more. Maybe look at the close to my heart cartridges. Somebody asked me to go through those. They're amazing. So I'm really excited. All of those are in, in access. Okay, go with the word. Start guessing. Thank you for that super chat. Okay, hold on, let me see. You guys have great, great answers. This, you guys, this one is a hard one this time. It's not so obvious. I don't know if you guys will get it. I might have to give a hint. I've never had to give a hint yet. I always want to give a hint. It's not backpack. It's not camping. It's not cuties. It's not grateful. That was before. If you see that somebody has guessed the same thing above you, don't guess the same word because the person above you, if they said it first, they win. This is a hard one. Okay. Since we don't have a winner yet, it is not the video with the camping critters, the camping one, the tent. It's not from that video. This word is not from the video about camping the 3D tent and backpack. So it's um, more, It's there's only one video left and it's the one that I did, the cupcake cards. Oh, I found that somebody answered it. Okay, it's over. 
Okay, now I have to scroll back up and make sure she is the first person to see it. So stop guessing so we can get back to the questions in the chat. This was a hard one. Um, I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay, guys, I know this is nothing fun to look at right now, but I want to make sure I'm fair. That was a really good guess. This was a hard one. Do you guys enjoy guessing? Um, I do. I mean, I think it, I think it would be fun. Okay, I don't see anyone above her. Okay, are we done? I'm scrolling back down to the bottom. She's actually the only one I see that even guessed it. Do you guys want to know who won? What the word was? Yay, I'm glad you have fun. Okay. Oh, I can't. I was going to put a picture in here. I can't. Uh, the winner is Terry Marcus. Congratulations. You are the winner. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, the word was sprinkles. I wrote it down yesterday. The word was sprinkles. So congrats, Terry Marcus. Okay. Um, oh, somebody's calling into the show. Hold on, let me turn it up. Hello, you're on live with Melody Lane. I'm Melody Glenda. Hi, Glenda. Hi. Hey, I'm calling to clarify some things for the post my heart cartridges. Just yeah. To let everybody know if that's okay. Um, the cartridges that have previously been released will be in design space, but they're not going to be free. Um, they're in access. They can... Pardon? They are in access. Yeah, I think that's a mistake is what we were told. As of September 1st, um, they won't be. They should be at cost. And you can buy those through your consultant, like someone like me, affiliate link. We're going to have our own cricket affiliate link for those. And there's a new cartridge coming out for Close to My Heart. And the only way you'll be able to get that, you won't even be able to see it in design space, just like the old times. You can only get that through a Close to My Heart consultant uh, link. Yes, that will be exclusive to Close to My Heart Consultants for a year. I was told by Cricut, by Cricut because I wanted to make sure before I shared that they are in access, that that is not a mistake, that the old cartridges are in access. Yeah, we were told the exact opposite yesterday. Again. Yeah. Um, there's a whole bunch of things going on with cartridges. Like a lot of um, people consultants have lost part of their close to my heart cartridges so there's a whole bunch of weird stuff going on right now with that well they so, were missing from design space and now they're back and they're in access yeah and we were told yesterday again they're not supposed to be in there for free but well, who knows we'll find out right on September 1st which is tomorrow everything will change um according to what we were told Okay. People can still go in and buy through their consultant. They're just going to use an affiliate link. Right. And there is a new part coming out, which is like amazing. So I think there's conflicting information, and I'll be happy to get a clarification after Labor Day for everybody. And I will post it in the group, in Melody's um, Design Space group. Okay. We'll here from our headquarters. 
because we're supposed to be able the reason it is we're supposed to be able to still get commission on those yeah you probably so, still can if they buy through you well they have they can't buy through us anymore because now they're all in design space they will all be design space so they have to use each consultant will have their own quick affiliate link right so they have to use that link to go in and buy right um, the new cartridge and we would hold all of them so that will be an interesting discussion again since we just had it yesterday on a call yep i'll let you know i'll clarify okay that. thank Guys, you there is a great cartridge coming out in october so stand by for that it's okay awesome. thanks thanks now bye okay Um, yeah, if they're in access, they're not free. You have to pay for access. I consider them freaks sometimes because I already pay for access. So anything extra in there. And I love access for the discount. I have probably five to 700 cartridges that I own. Okay, are there any other questions on the app? Okay, uh, I was told by Cricut, by the person in charge of all the design space images, that they are in access and that is not a mistake. Question, do I click in your comment section, Cricut access link or design beta? Um, if you wanna purchase access, you would purchase the Cricut access link. If you want to download the uh, design space on your computer, you click the design beta too. Okay, let's just go to a new project. Yes, we want to replace this one. Yes, Sandy, access is what you pay $10 a month for. Uh, images. Yes, the PC is independent of the iOS and Android apps. They're very different. Uh, I would download Chrome and not Explorer. I don't know what you guys are seeing. You're seeing me just reading questions. Okay. Uh, to find the close to my heart cartridges, I'm going to click on cartridges and search close to my heart. Now, by searching close to my heart, you're going to get every cartridge that has the word close, has the word to, has the word my, and has the word heart. But you can see at the top, these are the close to my heart cartridges. And they say close to my heart, so they will say that until down here. Uh, You want the link to download. It's right here. Let me click that. I will put it in the chat. Okay. So these top four 
are the first four cartridges or what well, yeah in the first five artistry i remember that these are the best cartridges this one has 628 images this one is art booking art booking is more for scrapbooking um i love art philosophy artfully sent is more cards artiste and art philosophy are feel like are for everything so is artistry artiste has 521 uh i don't think you can use my discount on anything that plugs in donna says her shapes are ghosted out on the ipad uh i would delete it and reinstall it The app does not take up a lot of room on the computer. Um, it does say in the help section um, how much room is suggested. Signs of awesome, Ronald Kruger. I completely agree. I wish we could just put CTMH, but I tried it and it doesn't work. Um... And remember, if you don't like the colors these are in, you don't have to do them in those colors. Um, these have cards and they have envelopes. I think the other one I like better because it has more 3D items in it. This one is art philosophy, but this one was a good one too. This has like a 3D flower here. I love this butterfly. Oh yeah, Art Brooking does have like stencil items, like you can make stencils and stuff and uh, add the things to cards. But I remember when I create projects, I tried to create them with access images only because I like to share them with my supporters. And in the past, you could only use these if you purchase the cartridges. Isn't that pretty? Um, so I didn't want to make image. I would like find an image I want. They were all close to my heart images. I'm like, dang it. I want to use that, but I can't. Because my supporters won't be able to open them. Well, now you can. Look at these are awesome. And you can use these backgrounds to slice something through. If you want to make a word letter or a word design. See, now I do not need to use the back button. I can go back to cartridges. I do have to. I'm just going to put close. So if you search close, they come up. You don't have to search them all. Uh, let's look at art booking. Correct, Raylan, if you're using, if you're paying for access, you can use these at no extra cost. I love these presents. And remember, you don't have to use the colors these are. Yeah, I love these. Let me, let me bring that in and will you, oh, but I love this owl. Uh, I'll show you how to use that. In another way, this is always a fun one, airplanes and stuff. So just type in close at the top and look through these cartridges. Love that. Oh, and I love this. I have used this butterfly. Uh, how can we modify projects that only have the make option on them? You can't. Those are for usually fabric projects. You can't modify the fabric ones because the seam allowance and stuff. That is so cool. Love that.
I'm gonna bring this in. Oh, look at that owl. I haven't looked at these cartridges in so long. And these are full like scrapbook pages too. Thank you, Ronald. Yeah, this is overtime. Ooh, that is a nice palm tree. Okay, we have a great question by Lisa Strawn on Facebook. When you browse through cartridges and you click on one to see what's included, how do you go back without having to start browsing from the beginning again? Okay, you watching? I'm gonna go up here, new window. And it pops over here. And I'm gonna go to new project. And I'm gonna go to images cartridges close or you know wherever you want so what I would do okay let's just say we're not looking at close to my heart just cartridges let's say I'm looking through cartridges and I don't want to lose my place so what I do is I look at the name of it and then I go over to my other copy and type in that name or type in a word from that name here and then look at it here and then when I'm done looking at that cartridge here I go back to this window and keep scrolling and this window I'm only using for the name and then I will go to this one and search that name to see them and then that way I don't lose my place here I hope that makes sense I have shown that in other videos as well. Oh, oh wait, let me move this out of the way. Okay. Um, oh, I have two images in here. I want to show you. This is the art booking one. You got pinwheels, ornaments. There's lots of things. These are always good. You could turn, okay, let me show you something with this one too. Let me do with this one. You can have a little rat if you want. Let me see what it is. It's a mouse. Spiders. There's lots of Halloween things in here. I think all the holidays they have. Okay, I'm going to insert these images. Um, okay, what I wanted to show you with this one, I can unlock it and you could make it thinner if you want. You can change this. Um, let's say I want to put this on a card and I want it to draw. Let's just say I'm gonna, okay, let's make it white. I want that, this texture, this image, this design just on this white paper. I'm gonna move, hold on. First, let's change the color just so you'll be able to see. I'm gonna move this white piece to the back and I want to change this to draw and then I can attach it to that paper and now that will draw in there. I could change the color by clicking over here in the layers panel where it says draw and change it to like a brown and then you have like a wood design on your white paper. Isn't that cool? Like, you guys, there's so much. It's unlimited what you can do in design space. It's amazing, and it's so much fun to make different things. Okay? And I was going to show you the same thing on this one. Oh, look, we can, uh, let's make this draw. You could have it deboss, too, or engrave. Let's move that over there. We have to move it to the front. We could put that on there. Um, that would probably be better. It's a cut image, but black. 
You could make some Halloween card or something like that. Okay, now this one, these are in so small. It's so much smaller than I'm used to. Um, we have a question, how do you link your cartridges to your account? I just showed that. Click up here, click link cartridge, and then you put the cartridge into your machine. If you have a maker, you don't have a cartridge spot, so there is an adapter you can buy. So I'm gonna put this little design over this Christmas tree, and you can do any of the designs over any image, and select them both. Over here in the layers panel, I only have two selected. That's why I can slice. And move that. So I could use this. Or this. Now, if you're cutting with paper, you wouldn't want to use this. This would be for vinyl. But that kind of makes a pretty tree. You could add a star if you want to the top. Or anything you want to do. You could even slice this out. I don't know how that will work, like how it will look, I mean. Let's see what happens. That doesn't work. Uh, you could probably move it so it looks better. But you could cut this out of iron on and just make a shirt. You probably want it in green, maybe, possibly. Thank you, Ronald. He says, everyone has my permission to use Monday to use your crickets. Happy Labor Day. Thank you, Ronald. You are amazing. Um, Free the Tongue says, so these images won't be available digitally. I'm confused why you'd need an adapter if they are. They are available digitally. But if she ha she's asking about linking cartridges, I assume she has physical cartridge that she wanted to link. Why is the new version better? Because it doesn't use any plugins. It does not use your browser, which your browser can be slow or fast and have all things stopping it from using it correctly. And all the updates are gonna be coming through this app. Thank you, Marriott. I really appreciate it. Yes, Marilyn says, can you use images from more than one cartridge on the same project? Okay, this was from a project, a cartridge. This was from this cartridge. Let's just go to images. Every single image you see here is in a cartridge. If you want to find out what image, what cartridge is fun, it's from, you can just click the little I. This one is from United in Diversity. So I can add that one. You can add as many as you want. I can choose a different cartridge. There's so many cartridges, so many cool images. Okay, so without even installing this, I have this one and it shows down here. I'm gonna go back to cartridges. Um, let's say we're gonna add that one. Now we have that one down here. Go back to cartridges. And let's say I want her. So I have all three of these from different cartridges and I click insert and they're all here. You have thousands and thousands. Now we have another question. I really like that, isn't that pretty? Okay, it's like a squirrel. Um, let's 
let me go to new project just to clean this up. We have a question about printing. Let's bring him in. Now, do you see all these layers? He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers over here. And when you cut it, you hit make it, and it brings it to seven different mats. Um, and you know what? Somebody said that they could not change this to a different mat. Move to another mat. Uh, I had somebody else say that too, and a question in here, and it's working, so I don't know why you can't do that. Uh, but anyway, so we have these are all separate, and if I want to print them, I can just select them and flatten them. Now, it's all in one layer, and when I go to make it, it does this. The biggest problem I see is when people are making something Let's, I'm going to like make, my Sammy, thank you. Um, let's just make this yellow. Okay, so let's say, I'm going to move this one to the back. We're going to do this, and we want words. Okay. So let's say I kind of want this to put on a card, okay? And I have this set to print, and I want it all to print on a card. Let me change this to print. This isn't the easiest way to do it, okay? So don't be taking notes and write this down. I'm going to click print. I'm going to change the color of this too just so we can kind of see it. It has no black line around it. And this, I also want to print, so I'm gonna go up to fill and hit print. Okay, now um, maybe we need to group, maybe we need to attach. Let's see what happens. Okay, it looks right. This is not correct, okay? This is not how you do it, because if I were to hit print, it will cut out this yellow box it will also cut out each letter. It will also cut out, because I had him flattened, it won't cut out the little pieces inside him, but it will cut out the outside piece. That is not what we want, even though it looks correctly. Let me go back and we're gonna undo until he's back. Okay. Let me change the color again. Let me make this bigger so you can see that it has a little black around it. Okay, if I want this to see they're in different layers here, if I want this to print together, it has to be in only one layer. So I select it all and I hit flatten. What the heck happened? That still says cut. Oh, you know what? I didn't hit flatten. I hit attach. <laughs> so I'm not grouping. I am not attaching. I hit the wrong button. Okay, so now I'm hitting, it's the fourth button over this way, the second one from the right. Flatten. See, that black line went away outside of each letter. That means it will not cut that. It will only cut this outside layer. And to make sure we know it's only going to cut the outside layer is because over here it says flatten. Now, um, let me try something else. Oh, wait, we have to unflatten. I'm going to do something. So now they're separate, but they're all still print. I don't know if I can do this. Hold on. I just want to show you something. Can I slice that? Yeah, I can. Okay. So I'm going to put a hole through this. Let's send that to the back. Let's get rid of these. 
Okay, so now I have a hole in this. There are three separate layers, but I'm gonna select them all and flatten again. Now, it's not just gonna cut out the outside, it will cut out this hole. Anytime you see the grid through this, it is going to cut that out. Does that make sense? Does that help anybody? Have you guys learned something today? I'm really sad if you don't learn something. I don't think I've ever done a video where you haven't learned something new. Okay, I'm going through your chat. You cannot use the blades embosser and stuff on the Explorer 2. Those are only for the maker and will always only be for the maker. Is there a way to print a list of cartridges? I don't think so. I don't know how. Type them all out, but there's always new ones. Okay, yes, you're learning. Okay, will DS change? So if you don't log into DS in a month, you will lose all of your projects. No. Okay, Lori Clark, let me make sure you know, you understand that. Um, so if you have access, in order to use your access images, you have to log in onto the internet. This is only after the offline series is working and you don't have internet at home or you're not using your internet um, and you have access. Your access images will be there from 30 days from when you logged in online. Um, they will not disappear they, your projects will not disappear. You will not be able to cut them if you do not log back in within the 30 days. They're, you, they're not gonna go away. They're just, you won't be able to cut them. Teresa says, glad you hit the wrong button, very helpful. Yes, it's, if you learn from your mistakes, I even, I was thinking I was clicking the right button. I'm like, that ain't right. <laughs> So I realized what I did. I'm so glad you guys have learning. Will the embosser tool work the same as the scoring tool? No. Lynn learned that she can't live without access. It's amazing. It pays for itself. You even get 10% off machines. Sheila, I love you too. Thank you, Mariette. Yay! Mariette says, been trying to download the beta version since the 28th. Finally did it successfully today with your help. Thanks, Melody. Thank you. Yes, Ronald says it correctly. Logging in every 30 days will give you permission to cut access images. That's all it really is. We have asked Cricut to put in a notification, like if it's been 27 or 28 days and you need to log in in the next few days to add that. I don't know if they will, but we thought it was a good idea. The only reason you wouldn't be able to cut the images is because they access images after 30 days is because they can't, you might only have access for that 30 days and not have it afterwards. And they need to be reassured that you have that. Otherwise, people would buy a month of access and never log back in and they will always be able to use those images and that's 
not fair and stealing. So Judy Meter says, does that mean when you're using DS and get images through the software that you are logged in, that you logged in? Yeah, I, I think you have to be logged in to use Design Space. Thank you, Lonnie. I'm so glad you're learning. Cheryl says, what if you don't? Because I can't always. Um, I'm guessing don't log in. Is that what you're asking? Uh, maybe if they're images you own or buy. Um, if you have a laptop and if you don't have internet, take it somewhere that has internet. Yay, Cindy got her shirt today. Yeah, if you don't have access, I don't think you need to worry about the 30 days. I'm not positive yet. There will be so much more coming. I'm going to get the offline in a few weeks and I will be able to answer more questions and do some tutorials. I think you're logged in when you're using Design Space. Why does it say beta v 4.6.5? Because that's the version you're we're using. I think I'm getting, I ordered some mugs with my logo on them from my merch store. Um, I ordered a teal one and a hot pink one. So I think they're coming today. I think I, because if you go, I think I could track those. Uh, Anita says, do you know the order of the printed mats that show on the screen? Oh, is it black then red? I don't know. I think black is always at the top or white. I don't know. It's something I, I... Oh, and remember, if you're ordering merch, if you're a supporter of $4.99 or more, you get 15% off. If you're a supporter of $15 or more, you get 25% off. How can you tell if you installed the beta version? Let me show you. So this is the beta version. This is not the beta version. So the not beta version has this at the top and when you have this open you'll see your browser i think on a pc too i don't know i'm on a mac could be slightly different uh mine says chrome at the top and i can open more tabs and it has this url the if you're using the desktop app let me move this over so you don't get confused. You don't, I have two of them open. You don't see any URL. When you click on this, at the top it says Cricut Design Space. So that's how you know. And it still might be um, like the home page, like you see here. It should all look the same. Thank you, Ronald. Like, thumbs up this video, and I love you, and I will love you. So Ronald will love you guys if you thumbs up the video. Uh, what if you don't log in? Because I pay for it, but sometimes I don't log in to use it. I work a lot. 
it doesn't matter. You get just next time you log in. It, it won't, it, they won't be gone. Your projects will still be there. They won't disappear. It'll be okay. You just log in next time. No worries. Okay, Mary Hub says, I am confused with the new desktop app on what to do or not to do. You, you just use the desktop app. There's nothing not to do. Um, if you missed the beginning of the video, I did show how to install it. Um, what requirements for older machines? Or are you saying older computers? If I understand right, won't everyone ha have to have the offline version? A at one point, everyone will have to have the desktop app. You don't have to use it offline. It will always be available online on the desktop app. The app that I'm using in this video today will always be available online. Um, if you have older computers, you may have to update your computer in order to use it. Mary Hub, just make sure that you're not in the browser. I mean, you can still use it in the browser, that's okay. But if you wanna use the desktop app, make sure it's not in the browser. And you might wanna rewatch the beginning of the video where I showed how to install it. All right, guys, it's been an hour and 37 minutes. And so I'm gonna stop the video so those that need to help Installing it can have that if you have questions, please put them in the comments after the video and I will try to help you as much as I can I have an appointment today to go get my hair colored and cut And Hurricane is coming. I don't know if it's really coming uh, I think now it's hopefully moving off of Florida back out into the ocean and I think from what I saw last night, although every few hours it changes. Um, they said where I live in central Florida, I might get like 40 mile per hour winds, which I don't think is anything. Um, but I may live stream the hurricane. I may or may not be doing a craft video on Tuesday. I originally canceled it because the hurricane was coming straight for me on Tuesday and I wasn't gonna do a craft video. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm doing now. You just have to find out if I come live, it's either a hurricane or a craft video. Uh, where is the help? Let me show you. Design space. Okay, I'm gonna go to Cricut. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go to cricket.com. You can go to cricket.com. You can scroll all the way down to the very bottom. You can click on help. This will help you with absolutely everything. Um, let me see, design space, design space for desktop beta. Uh, here's all kinds of in questions, online features, FAQ, tons of stuff, um, troubleshooting. These are all topics. There's tons of them. When you click on each one, it gives you pictures 
and explains how to do it. They're very, very, very helpful. So anytime you have a question, you can also search your question up here. It's very helpful. I'm reading the chat, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Does the new app link look different than the online link app? Do you mean the link to certain projects? Um, there is no link. I'm not sure what you mean. The project links are the same and they open on the web. They will not open in the app. You will have to save them from the web and then you can open them on the app once they're saved to your account. Uh, Cindy has a question on Facebook. How do I get a discount on machines with my access? Do I put in a code? No. There are, um, if you're buying a machine, there are code, there's a code at the top of Cricut. Usually you spend $99 or more to get free shipping. But uh, access, you don't need a code. It automatically gives you the discount. You can see at the checkout, it'll say access discount. So anytime you use access, you can do that. If you're buying products and things that do not plug in, you can also use my code and um, the access link on top of the sale prices. That's why I say, guys, the sales are amazing because if you have access, you get 10% more off the sale price. If you use my code, you get another 10% off. It pays for itself. Thanks for all the prayers. Thank you guys. How do we access your files? My files, um, if you're a supporter, you get links to my files and you just click them and they open up Design Space on the web and then you can save them to your account. Um, so there's, if you want to be a supporter, there's three ways to do it. And you can click all these. By clicking these links does not make you a supporter. It shows you how, what you get because there's different things you get. You all get my project files if um, it says you get my files. You get, they're all the same files on each platform. Oh yeah, um, let me show you InDesign Space for the help. So if you go click these three dots here, you can go to help right here. Also, you can click on feedback in the new app. And you can select a category. If you wanna leave them any feedback at all, you can add pictures or draw. Like I could show them this picture. I wanna delete that, I don't wanna do that show them this and then I can tell them about what I don't like or what I'm asking how to do or what there you can click all these different things and you can draw like that to send them feedback I don't want to send feedback <laughs> so I just click the X but that is also there Uh, what's the difference between being a supporter here versus Patreon? Here you get the little emojis. If you're a $4.99 supporter, you also get my project files. 
Um, but if you click on those links, they're in the description of the video. Yay, Tracy saved a lot with my discount code. If you click on those links, it will tell you everything you get for each one. And you have lots of choices on Patreon. Tons of them. And I only get a small commission when you use my link, not my code. Little Nightbot will give you the code uh, and a link. Oh, there it is. Here I did. Um, oh, no, that's a Patreon. Oh, I think I have to type in Cricut. Sherry is excited about the pins. If you support at $15 or more, uh, and you support for a certain amount of months, you get pins. And I have already ordered the next set of pins. Enamel pins. Oh, Jennifer Lachance says, when do you do viewer mail? Thank you for asking, because I was going to tell you guys. Next week, it's always the first Saturday of the month. So that is next week I will be doing viewer mail. Mine says beta 4.6.5 at the top. Mine doesn't have it in the corner, but maybe it does on a PC. I don't know. Nightbot shared my discount code up above in the chat. Uh, Creative Touches says, I'm a Patreon member. I'd love to join the $4.99 program. I assume here on YouTube, you'd love to switch. All you have to do is cancel your, uh, you go to edit your pledge on Patreon and edit it. And then you can delete your pledge and then click the join button here underneath any of the videos and choose the gold membership for $4.99. Uh, Jen says, I think it's downloaded, but when I hit save, it does not give me the option for computer. Um, it's not going to give you the option for computer until the offline feature is released. The next Patreon hangout is the second Saturday of every month. So it's after class. It would have started already if it was the second Saturday of the month. Um... So I do that the second Saturday. If you support on Patreon at $5 or more, you get to be in video with me and um, everybody else can be in the chat. So we have like, it's like Brady Bunch style. All right, guys. I want to thank you for being here. This, we went way over time this time, but that's all right. And I will see you guys, I don't know when. My YouTube schedule is noon on Tuesday, 8 p.m. on Thursday. I don't know what's going to happen because the hurricane, it said it was going to be here Sunday, then Monday, then Tuesday, then Thursday, or then Wednesday. Now it's saying also Thursday. I don't know when the hurricane is coming. So I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing my next video. It could be a hurricane video. Just make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click that bell so you get notified when I go live because it might be at a weird time. Uh, my code is M Lane, the letter M L A N E. All right, guys. Okay, I'm really going to go now for real. <laughs> it's so hard to get off the computer with you guys. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm saying goodbye. I love you. Thank you. Prayers to anybody who's in the hurricane path. Bye.